Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 10 of my subsistence let's play series. So, it's raining outside. Yep. I did have a plan for today's episode. I was planning to make a this a bud boy, which I'm still gonna do. Of course, I'm not gonna not do it. I've got some bandages in my inventory. If you can kind of figure out what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of fishing, and we're gonna do a little bit of cougar hunting. That is the plan, anyway. Oh shit. That is the plan. We're gonna head down to the water. But yes, I wanted to try and get some fishing done today. Um, just to make sure I could maybe make some health kits. Um, problem is I'm gonna need a lot of cloth, which I'm imagining if I kill enough cougars I'm gonna have plenty of cloth. I would have liked to have gone with at least whoa. With at least one in my inventory though. At least one medical kit in my inventory. Um, you know what? Let's reel that in. You are too cold. Retrieve the tackle. Fuck. Well, this is gonna make it really hard, isn't it? I'm not gonna have an- I don't have enough fucking cloth to go... Uh, doing much else. Ooh. What health are you? Okay, so we could do the whole... Follow me back. Follow me. Follow me. Keep coming. Come on, Wolfie. Come on. Follow me. We're gonna lead him back to the base. So I can run inside. Alright. That was fucking terrible. I forgot there's no wind up to- Ah, Jesus! Ooh, he's on my ass! Calm down. Yeah, I'm coming for your ass. We're gonna fuck with the AI a little bit. Ah! Nope. You're gonna turn away. Yeah, run like a little coward, bitch. If he comes at me, I'll just shotgun him in the face. Just to get a bit more cloth about me. Okay, stand still. Gotcha. Ah! 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 I changed the fucking ah! I changed the camera mode and it fucking... What the hell? It just stops me. Oh my god, he moved his head. Let's go for a body shot. Uh... The thing is, I could just one pump this dude in the head with the shotgun. I was just trying to preserve the shells for the cougars. Oh, are you kidding? I would Ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fucking use it, use it. Fuck. My god. <laughs> oh, that was too close, dude. That was too close, my dudes. Got a lot of fat, though. That's a positive. Uh, how are we going power-wise? We've probably got full power, so we can turn this off. Let's not just keep wasting that. We ended up with two cloth out of that, which is... Wasn't really worth it, all, in all honesty. Let's just all agree on that. I'm drying. Like... Just for a medium t-shirt, we're gonna need fucking... What? Uh... Ten... Ten cloth? Ooh, that's expensive. Man, 
Man, this sucks. Why does it have to rain? Like, this kind of stuffs up my entire day's plans. Really badly, actually. Like, I don't know what to do now. We're out of arrows. Um... Shit! There's a lockbox up there that I can see, but unfortunately I don't have iron fragments to make a lockpick. Hmm... I couldn't even, I don't think I'd craft them in time. Even if I spent the materials, and then I'd have three scrap metal left to my name. That sucks, dude. Alright. Like, I can't even fish in this weather, because I'm just dying from the cold. Like it's 21 degrees in the base. What is it outside? 29. And then when you get wet, your temperature drops. If only I had, like, a base on the lake, I could stand next to the base and just fish off the edge of the base. Makes me wonder. Uh, if we made this... Right? And put it next to me. Would that be enough to allow me to fish? Maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's a possibility. It's a possibility that could work. Could be a little workaround. We'll try it. Why not? It can't hurt to try. Holy shit, the wind is so loud. Alright, let's try it. So, we run down right next to the water. Right? Put a campfire down at the water's edge. Open this up, put some fuel in. I need an ignition source, fuck me. Grab some fiber on the way back. This is a plan. And it could work, I feel like. Tell you what, the noises of it are pretty realistic. I wouldn't want to be out in this storm. Uh, do I have... I have, I have one match, don't I? Yeah, I have one match. I'd rather make a fire starter kit than save the one match for like a really desperate situation. Where's all my fibre gone? There it is. And then one of those, so let's just make one fire starter kit. Let's put that back, put that back, put that back. Alright. This could be a good play. Not saying it will be, but it could be. This might be the best way to get around the rain. I mean, it might even be an idea eventually to make a little fishing shack down here, and then we won't have to worry about it.
To say I'm annoyed would be an understatement. Worst fucking timing in the world. Oh my god. Why? Why is... Come on, fishies, bite. That. Oh, I did all that for nothing. Oh, you're a big boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it, the big boys. Come on. Come here. Sweet. Let's fillet the fish. Oh, yeah, boy. Uh, we'll probably do one more now. Unfortunately, I've probably got about mm, 15 minutes of daylight left, maybe 20 at a push. I don't know whether I could go over and kill many cougars in 20 minutes. I mean, I could still try. Oh, fuck. No! Damn it! I wasn't paying attention. Fuck! I pushed the wrong button. I pushed reel in instead of strike. Shit. Damn it. That would have been perfect. Oh yeah, I see it. Come on. Go under. Go under. Come on, fishies. You know you want to. Num, 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 num. Eat the bait! Come on! Yes. Please. You're right there. Come on. Oh, it turned out to be a nice day, I guess. In the subsistence world. Alright, now, if I didn't miss that, we could have been on our way by now. Holy shit. Not going to bite for me. Welcome back to the fishing channel. Today we are trying to catch the rare salmon. Oh, and of course I get a small boy. Yay. Come on. So I am going to make just, I'm going to make one 
medical kit um, to take with me. Because I feel like if I get hit by a cougar, they do s a lot of health damage, dude. They hit pretty damn hard when they want to. Harvest oil, we got three. Okay. Uh, let's grab that out. Unfortunately, I can't take the, that, like, pick that campfire back up. Otherwise, I would just take that one with me. Because what we could do is if we get hit by a cougar and we don't have anything around us, we could take advantage of that by placing down a campfire to, reboost, uh, to boost our health regen. Um, to avoid having to use the medical kit. Except for in an extremely desperate situation, right? I mean, it's not like I couldn't still do that. Well, that is charcoal. I forgot about that. Um... Shit. Okay. Uh, da, 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 medical health kit. I need that, and I need that. I need to make the medical tonic, which means I need that. Alright, I can't make enough. Oh, yes I can. What am I doing? There we go. make one health kit. We're gonna we're gonna probably run out of time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it today, unfortunately. It's too far to go to get to them. You know, I really probably do need to make one of these steaks up now. I'm starting to run out of health. I get a food. Uh, we'll put the bait back. We don't need to take the bait with us. That at the end. Put that there. Try not to confuse them, so... One, two, three, four, five... So it's on seven and eight. Mm. Probably try and get some more wood while we're out there. If possible. How's this going? Stock that with fertilizer. Be okay on water till later. Yeah, okay. Come on, cook faster, you bastard. Like we're we're hitting the we're in the afternoon period now, so I don't think we're gonna have enough time to do this. Which sucks. Hmm. That's a big boost. Where'd that bear go? I was gonna just kill it then. I'm tempted to at least attempt it. There needs to be a take all hotkey button. It really, really, really needs to be. I mean, it's not like we can't go out scouting in that general direction and if we happen to come across something to kill, we can kill it, for sure. Yeah, you definitely don't lose as much stamina as you used to, I don't think. I think he's changed the properties of that a little bit, unless I'm just forgetful. But I feel like I can jump around and do whatever I want, and my stamina, as long as my health, my food and stuff is up, I can basically do anything, and I won't run out. Which is really good. I need them. I need them for their cloth. Really badly. Now the problem is, because he's changed the berry bushes, I haven't seen them in game yet, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking for. In terms of aesthetical looks, so... I have to wait till I just come across one and like really focus in on what it looks like. Oh, nice. Alright, well, we get two cloth that quickly. Fought those wolves and used a bunch of arrows to get two cloth, and we just did that and got two cloth like that. I 
Like, we got the shotgun if shit hits the fan. Which is good. There's a wolf in there. And the reeds over there. I mean, it's actually really not that far to get to Cougar Town. <laughs> it's not too bad of a run. We have a little bit of daylight left that we might be able to at least snag one. If possible. That guy looked like he just ran. I'm gonna be careful. Like, when you're coming up on these rocks, you kinda want a little bit of a wide berth. Because you never know what's at the top of a hill, and if you end up too close to an animal, they will just eat you alive, and you'll be pissed. Yeah, okay, we're not that- we're not really that far from, um, finding some cougars. I mean, they could be really anywhere along here. Realistically, they could even be just up on this ledge over here, so... That's not too bad. I really, like, I never... I never thought about it too much, but I really love the map design that he did over this part of the map. Having it run down from up here, and go flow down the entire mountain into a massive lake. It's a very cool design. Very good. Let's go up, up the rock face. Alright, so this is cougar country up here, so we got to be vigilant. Very vigilant. If we're lucky, we'll hear them before we see them. The only thing about living up here is it's very easy to spot stuff, because it's all, you know, on white snow. Oh, yeah. Some onions. I don't think I had onions. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, like you'd be- it's so easy to spot stuff. Like, look at this. Is this the new berry plant? Alright, so that's what the new berry plant looks like. Yep, it's got some blueberries attached to it, makes sense. Pretty, pretty easy to spot on the snow. Man. Imagine how easy it would be to spot everything if it was all snow. Make my life a hundred times easier for finding stuff. Alright, cougars. I haven't seen one of yous yet. Oh wow, I didn't realise this. Whoa! I didn't realise this flowed that far. Holy shit. It's actually starting to get semi-dark now. When when it becomes dark, it's not just the cold that will kill you, it's the fact that you can't spot things as easily. Like predators and stuff, so you just get fucked without even knowing you're about to get fucked. Not even one. I mean, I am pretty disappointed. I haven't even spotted one in the distance yet. Alright. Bear. So we're all the way back there, like look how big the map is, it's huge. Just nothing. Oh! I heard a bear, but we found our prey. We have to do this quickly, because we're gonna run out of time, in daylight. And we don't want to be fighting this thing in the dark. Alright, so he's gonna take probably at least two shotgun shells. Oh god, of course it's a level three. Alright, we could, we could, die here. Let's hope that's not the case. Hey, bud! Let's just get some health off of the boy. Oh, 
What happened to the second shot? Where did it go? Where did the second shot go? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? It's such a long run back. We're going to die from trying to get our stuff because it's in the dark. Fuck. And now I'm wet. Great. So I'm going to get even colder now. Awesome. Now we're in deep shit. can't even tab out, don't worry. Fuck, sorry guys. I was going to increase the gamma for you guys and girls so you can see, but if I tab out, the game can crash. So just know that I can't see much either. Fuck! The worst part is he's still going to be around that area. There's still every chance in the world that he can kill me again. And unfortunately, I don't have... I don't think the timer for death would last long enough to wait till the morning to go get my stuff. It would just disappear in, in that amount of time. Go away. There you go. You got a little bit of light now. Yep, there we go, starting to freeze to death. So my plan is if I can get pick my stuff up, it will reset the death timer at least. I'm going to lose stuff periodically. Because you just do. You, you lose some stuff when you die. Sometimes half of the items you had, like like if it's a stack of 50, you might lose 25 of that item. Minus three. Very bad. I don't see him near me. Okay, I do. Run! He's a level four boy now. We, m oh Jesus! Hunters in the night. What we can do is, if we get desperate for uh, for health, we can pop our medical kit. The worst part is, because I'm so cold, I don't think I'm going to regen a lot of stamina. Can I eat some, just some biofuel? Can I just eat that? We're going to still be vigilant. We don't want a bear or anything chasing us at this point in time. Let's try not to get wet. Very, very, very bad. 
I don't know what happened to that second shot, though. It was in his face. Well, title of this video, Cougar Hunting Fail. Fuck me. Try and go around the edge. We're gonna have to end up probably popping this med kit. I don't want to, but that's probably the situation. Fuck. And do we go to the left or the right? We go to the left. Another hunter. Alright, well we found, we figured out where two of them are so far. Fuck, that's a third. Oh my god, they're, so, they're actually shit. They're along the water's edge though. How are we gonna get... Fuck. I mean, we might have to fight this guy. I don't know what choice we're going to have. We can't go across the lake. We'll freeze to death. Is it only the one? He's right at the other side of the river. I had to do that. Fuck. I'm trying to avoid him. I might have done it. Jeez, there's one up in the tr one up in the tree line, one here, one all the way back over there. They're pretty close to my base, these two. Yeah, one there, one there. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we survived. Like, well, we, we died, but we, we, we got back. We did that. That's a nice bonus. I don't know how much stuff we've lost. I haven't had a chance to assess the damage yet. We lost... Jeez, probably... Like at least a couple shotgun shells, though. Which is probably the suckiest part of it all. Are you kidding? I'm gonna hug the wall. Come for me, fuck face. Catch you later. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we made it back. In one piece, somehow. We're gonna take the match, fuck it. What would we have left? Oh, God. We're home. I'm gonna eat one of these. Can be eaten raw for lower nutrition, but better used in cooking recipes. Cool. Oh, man. That did not go the way I thought it would go. At all. So, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more subsistence in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me. And all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Right, poise!